Ever seen something that's hard to believe? The kind of thing where if it wasn't caught on camera, you would assume it's fake? Moments like this happen all the time, and in this video, we'll look at some of the embarrassing moments in sports you need to see to believe. But first, a simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's all your choice. So be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. First, invading the track in F1. Formula One has cars going at hundreds of miles per hour, so most smart people would stay away from the track while cars are in motion. But like they say, common sense isn't always common. And even in high-speed motorsports, there are still people that want to get a bit too close to the action. This brings us to Cornelius Horan, an Irish priest who took to the track while waving a banner with a religious message during the British Grand Prix in 2003. Horan did get the visibility he was looking for as his invasion of the track was caught on camera, but it didn't last long as the safety car came out to slow down the race and the marshal tackled Horan and removed him from the track. He was arrested for the stunt and sentenced to a couple of months in prison. On the other hand, race marshal Stephen Green became the second one in the Grand Prix's history to win a medal for his bravery in tackling a track invader. This isn't the only time Horan has tried something at a sporting event, as he was also involved in disrupting the men's marathon at the 2004 Olympics in Athens. He pushed the leader of the race, leading him to finishing in third thanks to the lost time. The law could have sentenced him to five years in prison for this, but he received a lighter suspended sentence because of his mental state. However, Horan Rand was punished in a different way for the pair of incidents when he was removed from his position as priest. He came out against this decision, but given his track record and his tendency to get into trouble, it's not at all hard to understand the reasons behind it. Second, Nick Young and the worst layup miss. As a professional basketball player, you're expected to hit a layup every time. It's one of the easiest shots in the game, and there are not many better chances to put the ball in the basket than with a fast break and no opposing players up front to defend. However, there are times when even these these chances are missed, and Nick Young had one of those moments while playing with the Washington Wizards. This one has been called the worst layup miss of all time because Young had the basket right in front of him and still put the ball way over the intended target. It went out of bounds before either team could take possession, and as such, the ball was turned back over to the Lakers, not the outcome the Wizards were hoping for when the fast break appeared. Oddly enough, Young would end up playing for the Lakers later in his career in what was probably his most famous run as a player. Nick Young was there for a lot of big moments from Kobe's last season to the D'Angelo Russell scandal that saw the younger Lakers rookie lead to the breakup of Young and rapper Iggy Azalea. But back to when this play first happened, Young's most famous moment related to the team was this, probably the worst missed layup in the history of misses. Third, Tony Parker's missed free throw. Free throws are another play that professional basketball players aren't supposed to struggle with. The fact that they're called free throws says enough about the expected difficulty. For a good shooter, a free throw is usually automatic, but the key word here is automatically. Tony Parker was a pretty good player himself for many years in the NBA, but he also has one of the most embarrassing free throw misses ever. Well, this one is so surprising because the ball doesn't even come anywhere close to hitting the net, doesn't even come near the net, and the average air ball would have a higher chance of scoring than this dud of a shot did. However, Parker did shoot 75% from the free throw line over his entire career, which spanned a lot of seasons. You've got to give him a pass on this one because not every player can consistently put up good marks like that throughout a long career, but when a player like that misses this badly, it's all the more notable. Fourth, dropping the ball. You might be seeing a pattern by now. A lot of the most embarrassing moments in sports are when someone messes up a play that's supposed to be automatic, and in baseball, catching a fly ball was something that every outfielder should be able to do. But in a game between the Houston Astros and Pittsburgh Pirates, when the bases were loaded in the bottom of the ninth, a mistake on a play like this cost the game. Two Astros players went for the catch at once, but there was only actually room for one of them. The ensuing collision botched the play for both players and allowed the Pirates to score, breaking the deadlock in front of the home crowd and taking home the win thanks to this one mistake. The thing to take away from this play is that communication matters. The Astros didn't communicate much on this one and they paid a high price as the drop ball led to their opponent stealing the late victory from them. Number 5. Derrick Henry's Stiff Arm Derrick Henry is a 
tough running back. His listed weight is almost 250 pounds, and he came out of the University of Alabama with a reputation for his hard-hitting and physical playing style. As a safety in the NFL, he's probably not the first running back that you would pick to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with. But when the Ravens found themselves matched up with the Titans in the playoffs, safety Earl Thomas found that out the hard way. Henry went to the outside on a run, but Thomas's tackling attempt was met with not one, but two stiff arms in reply. Henry was eventually run out of bounds by the pressure from Thomas, but it's safe to say that this one must have been a little bit humbling, if not frustrating. After all, safeties are some of the biggest hitters on a team. Getting pushed around by a running back is a pretty unusual event, but Henry himself is an unusual running back for today's NFL. Thomas had a team-high seven tackles in the game, but the Titans still moved on after defeating them. And Henry is one of the highest regarded players in fantasy football, in part thanks to his potential to do things like this. Number six, Kobe schools Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving came into the NBA as the top overall pick and with big expectations on his shoulders. The Cavs were expecting him to help them rebuild after LeBron left them the first time, so it's natural there were a lot of eyes on their top pick early on. After all, Kyrie was supposed to be the new franchise player, but when the Cavs took on the Lakers, Kobe Bryant proved there were still some things for Kyrie to learn. Kyrie took the ball on his own and tried to score against Kobe, but his position was worse off and Kobe was easily able to block the shot by putting a hand up. Considering the age gap between the two of them at the time, this one might have been an embarrassing moment for Kyrie. It's not every day that you get a shot blocked by a player that you grew up watching. Finally, dropping the ball, part two. Dropping the ball isn't a good thing to try in football, just like baseball. But throughout the years, there have been a few players to make that mistake. It's happened in the NFL and it's happened in the college ranks. But regardless of the level, these are the kinds of plays that you hope that your favorite team won't make in an upcoming game. This happened notably during a game between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Dallas Cowboys, where the Eagles receiver was open downfield and should have walked in for an easy touchdown. But the deep pass ended up not scoring at all as the receiver threw the ball down in celebration before crossing over the goal line. Turns out the rules say that you actually have to be holding the ball when you cross the goal line for it to be counted as a touchdown. It doesn't count to drop the ball a few seconds early while running into the end zone. Another team found that out the hard way. That's the University of Utah, as their wide receiver dropped the ball a couple of seconds too early while running in for the touchdown, only for the ball to get picked up by the opposing players from the Oregon Ducks, who ran it back all the way across the field in a sequence that's definitely embarrassing for fans of the Utes. With a fair amount of players falling victim to this over the years, the smartest option seems to be just staying away from throwing the ball down until it's all said and done. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next